Have you ever wondered where Hollywood's A-listers get their start? Well, I can tell you a lot of them do it on the small screen, on daytime TV. Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Julianne Moore, they all got their big breaks on soap operas. Yep, even Hollywood's Titans started small. So to see all of the future stars of Hollywood, make sure to watch the daytime Emmys right here on June 23rd. Yes, here on HLN. But right now, I'm going to show you why the soaps are such a great launching pad for superstardom. Among the many hopefuls we'll see at the Daytime Emmy Awards may be the next Leo, Brad, Eva. Each of those superstars and many more got their starts on soap operas. There was a great training round and less about acting than about professionalism. 30 Rock star Alec Baldwin recently shared with me the fond memories he has of the job that launched him to stardom, the doctors. I'm going to blow your entire future sky high with Luke. Alec told me it was a great gig for him and his fellow struggling New York actors. They were very devoted to it and they were grateful to have the job. Hollywood is filled with A-listers like Baldwin, whose first big job was on a soap. As a teenager, Leonardo DiCaprio had one of his early roles in 1990 on the old soap opera, Santa Barbara. Brad Pitt also did his soap opera time, appearing on Another World when he was a fresh-faced 20-something in 1987. I wonder if Angie makes fun of him for that. Before Oscar winner Tommy Lee Jones was policing aliens on Men in Black... He spent the early 70s on the ABC soap One Life to Live. Where did Eva Longoria learn the deception and seduction techniques she displayed on Desperate Housewives? I didn't do anything. That's right, as a deceitful seductress on Young and the Restless in 2001. And see if you can recognize these two. Tomorrow your ugly stepsisters start bossing you around again. <laughs> no. I'm going to hang on to my little glass slipper this time. Yes, their Oscar winner, Marissa Tomei, and four-time Oscar nominee Julianne Moore appearing together on As the World Turns. Julianne Moore won a Daytime Emmy for her work on the show in 1988. I love daytime television. Recent Tony Award winner Judith Light, who's best known for her 1980s sitcom Who's the Boss, got her first taste of fame in the early 80s on the old soap One Life to Live. I was soliciting men. <laughs> Light won two daytime Emmys for that role, and she tells Showbiz Tonight it launched her career. I was not a, going to ever do daytime television, but it was what came my way, and I decided to do it, and it really literally changed my life. It was a training ground that is second to none. Live with Kelly host Kelly Ripa spent 10 years on the recently canceled soap All My Children. Kelly tells Showbiz Tonight doing time on a soap could do a lot of young actors a lot of good. When you hear about, like, young Hollywood and, you know, if they're not showing up on time or whatever, I always say make them work on a soap. So soaps are more than great entertainment. They can lead to daytime Emmy Awards and Hollywood superstardom.